workers were incensed by a recent decision taken by the management of the sanitation, uh, a decision which uh, affected all categories of workers and the workers felt so incensed that they stood in solidarity uh, against that, that recent decision and would have uh, stopped working until there was some redress by the management of sanitation to, to their concerns. They, obviously, they, they were so incensed that uh, a lot of the other issues that were unresolved for some time were, were raised. Uh, matters that included uh, hazard pay, uh, matters that included uh, clothing allowance, uh, outstanding payments and, and raise, raises of uh, salary. So all those matters were raised and uh, we have initiated a, a process of uh, discussion with the, with the management of sanitation to see how soon we can have this this matter, these matters resolved. One of the main issues is the state of labor management relations. Yes, we have a good relationship with the board where we meet occasionally, but the management study, the operational management study is one where they are concerned that they are not treated with a level of dignity, human dignity and respect. Um, as John Sai stated, the recent decision to remove certain amenities which workers collectively among themselves would have done to make their work and life comfortable and to help enhance productivity was removed unceremoniously. Um, there's a lot of issues we are trying to curb. What we find that some lengthy in absence of process, we try to advise that, for example, the case with Gregory Nichols involved with the with Lynch versus the chief person officer, dismissal is not automatic for a criminal conviction, we try to implore them that this case sets precedence and therefore the employees or they have issues before the court um, should a final decision we may make after the court finalizes the matter. But it seems the management seems to have some resolute determination that they can just terminate once we have a matter before the court. So there's some matters that we are concerned about in terms of how they're being addressed in terms of process. We think that the ERA situation is not following where discipline should be incremental where you document first, you give warnings, and then you can discipline. It's this sense of feeling that they will not have to adhere to that, and it causes some challenges for the NUPW in terms of process. So we would like to see those um, situations addressed so that the state of labor management relations between worker and management is one where camaraderie is built, and there's a sense of motivation that is conducive to productivity and efficiency.